Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay, so uh, this is our first lecture today, and uh, I have taught a few courses like these earlier. Like you know, there was a course named Feasibility Analysis in uh, in one of the semesters two two years ago. That was also a very general, and I think that was also in the last semester or the second last semester. Very interesting course. And uh, then there was a similar course like Feasibility Analysis, uh, Crisis Management, Idarat uh, al-Zamat, and I mean. Elzam is a very uh, uh, normal word today. You know, we keep hearing about Elzamat in that time of Corona. Uh, I mean, I didn't know the word so much as I have become familiar with it now. Idarat al-Elzamat, crisis management. I'm, I'm right. Huh? Elzamat is the right word for crisis. No. What is it then? Al Mashakila, no, but uh, there is a course in your uh, program named Idaratul Ilzemat. Is it not? Yeah. So, um, Izamat. Okay, Il Azamat. Yes, Idaratul Izamat. You're right. I'm sorry. So, in that course, that was also you know very similar and very interesting course where we have to learn. Uh, if uh, something like uh, corona happens how to cope with that because you know there are two things i'm just you know discussing in general so that uh, we'll come to our course uh, but i'm just having a general discussion you know there is something called risk khatar and there is something called izamat huh? izam that is crisis so uh, there is a difference between the two. In risk, we know it. Eh? The khatar, idaratul makhatir, if I am not wrong, the risk management, it is called idaratul makhatir. Yeah. And uh, there is the idaratul azmat. So, how is it different? Because it is related to our uh, course on trends, business trends. Uh, so, what is the main difference between uh, Izam, uh, Izamat and uh, Azmat and Khmakhatir. Which one is uh, known beforehand? What is known? We have the knowledge, Faham, before you know it happens. And so we have a course named Idarat al Makhatir where we can manage the risk. What about crisis? Is it different from risk? Or it's the same. What do you say? It's the same or different crisis. And you can now start using the WhatsApp group because when I shift to um, the uh, presentation, then it will be difficult for me to discuss here on different. Okay, so who will tell OS or Abdul Malik or Firas? How will you explain the difference between? the two azmat and uh, makhatir tell me anyone firas ways abdul crisis is a current problem okay crisis means solving a problem before it occurs okay salman says crisis means solving a problem before it occurs okay and what is uh, the difference from the risk risk is after it have occurs you mean that salman you mean that crisis is before it occurs kabul you know the it happens and uh, risk means after it happens huh? sir risk is before and crisis is after what do you mean by that Now tell me, yeah, anticipate a problem in which risk or crisis. Very nice, you are close. We are getting closer. Crisis is anticipating a problem, okay, all of them. Now let us take the example of Corona, COVID. Is it a crisis 
or not? The COVID, it is, huh? it is a crisis. And why are we calling it a crisis? Because we had no uh, knowledge about something like this in the past. Do you agree with this? There was no knowledge of something like this uh, before 2020. Nobody knew that something can happen like this. No business, no company had any knowledge that this can happen. But did they have risk management? All the companies, whether it is Saudi Airlines or Hotel Le Meridian or any hotel, any airline, uh, very good. Amar is now getting the idea. Crisis comes as a surprise. And that is why, you know, we have included courses like Idarat al-Azmat, Azamat in the business programs after you know, more importantly, after the crisis of 2008, although, you know, there had been crisis earlier also. But if you look at the uh, curriculum, is risk is the natural problem, yes. Risk, risk is the natural problem. We know it like financial risk. I invest money, the risk is that it may get lost. Uh, I uh, produce something. It is possible that the consumer may not like it. These are risks. So we know them. Huh? But crisis is something which happened just now during the last year and which is going on. You know, I read uh, in a survey yesterday, you know, Arab News published a survey yesterday that uh, they asked people, what do you feel? Will the COVID-19 end in this year, 2021 or not? Have you read that news? They, uh, did you read that news yesterday? In Arab news, they published a news regarding a survey they did in Saudi to ask people, what do they feel? Uh, will this crisis called COVID end in 2021 or not? You know what? Most of the people said, what do you say? Will it end this year or not? No. You mean you are answering me? No. Yeah, Mohammed Hureb Faraz. So they also, 53%, you can check that survey. It's there on Arab News. It, it is maybe, maybe they are still going on. So you can also participate in that survey. They, most of the people feel, 53% of them feel that this crisis is not going to end in this year also, 2021. So this is a crisis. And if, uh, what does that mean? It means that people were not prepared for this. Everything was coming as a surprise, as Ammar very rightly said. It comes as a surprise. So this was a health crisis, a uh, crisis related to seha. There can be crisis related to climate. Uh, sometimes there can be a tsunami. Now, nobody is prepared. Nobody knows that there can be a tsunami and there was a big tsunami in Yes, they do, they do, isn't like Spanish flow, like Ebola. They must have a plan for pandemic. After this, they must learn and make plans, I think. Okay, I mean, that's enough for the discussion on uh, risk, crisis, etc. But why are we discussing this in our course? There is a reason, you know, why? Because we have to be prepared. Because, you know, when you look at the past uh, studies, you know, not long ago, you know, there were many studies published, as uh, Muhammad rightly said, Muhammad is right, about the Ebola virus, about the Spanish flu, yes, Spanish flu. These were going on. And, you know, uh, the why, how do they spread across? By people-to-people -people contact, isn't it? The spread of this disease takes place by people to people contact and the uh, several organizations like world health organization and uh, even my, uh, the bill gates foundation they were telling you know warning people they were ke they kept on warning people that you know there may be a problem of a very large scale which can affect the entire world because why what is the main reason uh, that it spread so 
fast and so far yani the the spread is too much across the world why because of the main reason that in the globalized world today the transportation has become very easy uh, you are with me right i mean i will not try to bore you okay in this course i will try to be as much uh, you know practical and try to take your views and if you feel bored like just, just stop me there i'll we'll shift the uh, discussion to something else so you know globalization uh, made transportation very easy you are understanding uh, transportation is what movement of public from place to place i mean it has bec it became so easy that a person you know if he wants to fly tomorrow morning to uh, united states there was even a facility for that you know you just book the tickets and even you can get a, the the many governments many foreign governments were ready to give visa on a day basis or even on arrival you know there are many countries for their why do they give why do they encourage people coming to other countries what is the reason countries were encouraging people to come to their country like turkey uh, all european countries uh, canada for economic you know on how tourism se hawa funduka you know because and that is where you know the vision 2030 of uh, saudi is also inclined towards that to encourage more and more hajj umrah travelers and uh, tourism so so they also you know they were you know 2019 two years ago they had uh, started the plan of converting the umrah visa to tourist visa isn't it and there was a plan so that you know people who come for umrah they had visa only for three cities jadda makkah and madina but you know there was a plan ministry had already um, passed it you know there was a the policy was made that the tourist visa uh, will be given on payment of some some money to uh, to the people who come for umrah now what is the benefit the benefit is that people can go and uh, tour around they can stay in hotels they can enjoy the uh, various facilities they can see sceneries and so tourism will bloom so this is why you know transportation became so easy traveling became so easy as mohammed you know he said the traveling became easy and not just inside the country but across the country borderless you know it became borderless i mean there were many companies there were many companies in the world who did not have an office you must have known uh, you must be aware of of many companies you are understanding what i'm saying many companies of the world were not having office they didn't have any office they were working from because their work included on site work they were, they were having clients and they used to you know suppose you know in the morning they will come to dubai stay at the client's place work with them and then they fly to some other country so there were companies like this so because the traveling became very easy people were able to travel here and there very easily and that was one major reason the disease spread so fast so the you know the uh, various bodies were always warning beforehand that there can be something like this and that has happened and as a result what is the result crisis that means people were not prepared so we need to know you know we need to look for something called trends trends emerging trends in business so today you know we'll just try to first of all let me tell you we will not use any textbook no i searched for uh, i mean i had prepared the course outline in 2019 to two years ago uh, in the batch of some of the students i know the abdullah bagavitha and kin sara all all were there i don't know if you know them uh mofaq so i just was seeing the attendance i took on the first class uh, in 2019 and then uh, after teaching for one class you know it was taken i i started teaching financial markets in that semester so i had everything prepared uh now 
we cannot have a textbook for this uh, topic we will have topics subtopics and for each topic we will i will try to bring as many current and interesting uh, information as possible so that you learn something yeah? so today you know let's try to understand what are we going to learn in this course what is the purpose and and why how not to waste time okay that is my main objective not to waste time because you know when i was choosing choosing uh, uh, teaching crisis management i started i was experimenting and then finally uh, it came to a point that i started giving them question and answer i mean we made it made the uh, entire uh, t teaching in question and answer basis and they enjoyed you know finally it was uh, they had a good time so my lecturing only was not helping and that was of course a physical class in classroom in online it's easier because you can relax sit and enjoy and take the class in your way so our topic for today is to uh, know what are we going to learn in this why is it important and uh, i mean what are the topics that we will cover in the next chapters it is possible that we do not cover all the topics you know if time doesn't allow or you know for any reason because uh, you are all in the last semester you some of you told that you are working also so i can understand that you have lots of other uh, activities so i just don't want to bother you too much with this i want to make it as easy and uh, learning as possible because we have to today you know we have to take one lesson that this is a very important topic and uh, it will not stop this should not stop with your grades that you got a plus or a or b whatever it should not stop there we are learning this uh, course to make it a skill you are getting me if you uh, are distracted just pay attention we are learning this topic to learn a skill what is that skill that a skill you know a skill is what mahara it's mahara right i mean we have to develop a skill as a manager as a manager manager doesn't mean that you will always work in a company only then you become a manager the manager also means that uh yes so i am telling that we are learning this course as a to acquire one major skill keep it as your you know major lesson from today's class what is that skill that skill is to keep ourselves updated don't lose track of what is going around updated what does update mean update means keep on knowing you know reading and in inquiring about what is going on outside in other courses we take marketing management financial management all courses we uh, refer to a textbook and we acquire the knowledge from there and we just stop you know we learn the theories calculations etc but here you know we this course like other courses communication ittisal or crisis management or strategic management in this course you know we have to learn to keep ourselves updated every day every single day you must watch out what is going on you know what can take place in future so i mean just forget everything right now you give me some some of the things you see uh, going on in future i mean you feel this is uh, uh, not today but it can happen in future so let me ask from you and then i will give you the chinese will be the first language mashallah <laughs> this is <laughs> uh a uh, great uh, news for me i mean you are right i mean fras is uh, yes okay i mean i'll have to shift to can you please write on the group whatsapp group 
because you know otherwise i will not be able to use presentation i want to use the presentation and also co uh, keep communicating okay so please write on the whatsapp group so that i can read from there okay so firas says that chinese is going to be the uh, first language okay i mean i think he is impressed by the by the introductory video he saw of the professor who was introducing the course so you have seen this video uh, all of you have seen the video say yes or no otherwise i'll give you an assignment for okay mohammed says he saw how many of you didn't see the video no one right on the group whatsapp group salman also saw the video okay so uh, tell me not yet okay so watch it okay uh, ammar also i know it was late but anyway it was it's just 2 minute uh, and uh, i was looking for uh, some video introduction to the course so i found this very beautiful uh, video you know it's a very good explanation and uh, it's all, it also introduces you to a course huh? salman bardesi says he did not understand anything that's very honest good uh, this is this video is an introduction to the course by university of watana and they are offering online course on uh, new trends global trends and the professor is explaining why this course is important and he gives very fine you know few examples of the coming generation you know coming trend what will happen in future so three points that he highlighted here in the uh, video so what you can do you will check the video uh, after the class and see relate it with what i am explaining uh, yes right mohammed is right chinese currency versus dollar so he says that you know the in the future there is going to be changes in the world and it not just future change is uh, the only thing which is constant isn't it it's a very common proverb that change the only thing is constant in the world is change all else so that means nothing is permanent everything keeps changing we used to have uh, uh, the basic phone then the smartphones came now smartphones are going now there may be some other device sometimes you know there may be more no device you will have just a chip and you can use the so it keeps on changing but the change is which uh, impact the business completely you know which changes the dynamics of the business like uh, amazon amazon was a game changer isn't it amazon that is why these companies are known for uh, amazon is in news these days isn't it what is the news about amazon have you uh, studied read anything about amazon very recent news about amazon what is going to change in amazon company no one no one i am sure somebody will salman mohammed i mean you all are very intelligent students i have seen in my experience teaching with you uh, i have to shift to online grocery let's see on the group yeah yes i told you yeah, there will be someone abdurraz abdurrahman zokar he answered on uh, the the what blackboard group that jeff bezos who is the current ceo he is uh, quitting as the ceo of amazon he was there for a very long time he will be there but not as the head operational head now the operational head will be someone who was taking care of the uh, one of the major products of amazon which is called aws isn't it aws so watch out for it read more on this these are the trends you know that is what we have to do in this course in 12 weeks we will keep discussing the happening around in the world in uh, newspapers in the articles and you can 
freely share as, as many news and articles in the WhatsApp group. Whatever you read, just share it. Like for example, uh, National Commercial Bank is going to merge with Samba. They are going to call themselves with a new name. So that's a news. You know, that's a trend that will affect the banking industry. Okay. So the professor is introducing the course on uh, trends. You know, business trends, global trends. And in that introduction, he explains very beautifully why this course is important, why, how will it help you as a future manager. So he says, you know, some of the three, you know, there are many and that is what this course is all about. We are going to learn about the trends. So he identifies three major changes. One, demography, you know, demography. In demography, he says about aging. Anyone can tell me what was the exact thing there? Aging, what was being told about aging population, especially in the Western countries, in Arab countries, Saudi, in uh, countries like India uh, and the other Asian countries, the population average age is, can you tell me where is what is the population feature in the Middle East compared to the Western countries? Are the average, is the average population old? Yeah, right. Salman is right. Is in the Middle East, the average population is young. Whereas in the uh, European countries, in the Western countries, in Japan, the average population is old, getting old. So what does that mean for business? Is political trends with us or just economic? In the course, you are telling? Political trends, I mean, we'll see. Uh, we are talking about those trends which affect our business, like uh, rise of China. That is a political development, rise of China. And uh, the rise of... Uh, uh, Chinese uh, renminbi as he identified. Okay, so we will try to be as uh, I mean we cannot cover everything and we have to focus on business aspects. So demography that means the aging the population has to be uh, understood in the in terms of the trend that will affect the business. So in the western countries the population is getting old more more people are getting older so what will happen what is the need the need is to give them pension pension yeah? so we'll have lots of banks and uh, financial companies who will offer pension funds you you know about pension huh? you have heard about pension do you know what it is retirement benefits yeah so they need pension because they cannot work post 60 across the world you know 60 is the age of retirement so the people in the western countries in uk in european countries in even in usa the people are getting older the average age of the countries will be old so what will happen the need of products will change whereas in the middle eastern countries the population is young so for young population what is the main problem in Saudi Arab right now, which is uh, being targeted? That is why European countries accept. Very good. Nice. Yes, that's excellent. Salman Bradisi is right. That's why you know they are inviting young people in Canada, in New Zealand, in uh, in the European countries. Come work for us. They are giving citizenship to them. Why? Because they need workers and old people are you know their their citizens are getting older so they are now inviting new lot to work for them i was asking about specifically about have you all gone through the vision 2030 document till now how many of you have read this document in complete because this is the trend for you business students who are studying here in who will graduate and work in Saudi or even in the Middle East. So you have to be very much prepared with this document. You know, you have to keep this as your uh, benchmark. So anybody in the class who has read 
vision 20 roya ashrin talasin completely from page 1 to page last or at least you know the main uh, main ideas main policies which are there uh, which are going to take up what is the what are the main policies some of it okay so can you tell me what are the main areas of development in vision 2030 that saudi government is trying to work on in the next 10 years what are the key uh, areas of development one obviously starts with uh, the major area that is what mashallah yes so saudi vision 2030 firas has shared read it in arabic I, it's in english also i have the english document with me so in the vision 2030 one of the major areas is uh, to diversify the economy isn't it diversify the economy so what does it mean diversify the economy from just petrol very good salman is right from only depending on more than one income good so diversification of economy means from selling petrol only to uh, tourism to uh, other areas uh, say producing your own items uh, privatization of the uh, many public uh, organizations so that you know the resources can come up okay then another important area in in that document is about unemployment unemployment you agree have you seen this and that is why you know the uh, most of the developing countries like saudi india um, in the Russia, developing countries, you know, those countries which are coming up, Brazil, Russia, BRIC is a very famous term uh, coined some, some years ago, Brazil, Russia, India and China. This was coined by, uh, I do not remember the name, uh, for four countries who are going to be the key players in the world. And you can see them, you know, China is already on top, India, Russia, Brazil these four countries were identified as to be the key players and it's all there you know we can see that these uh, uh, brazil is also coming up although in latin america there are still problems but russia after the disintegration in 1990s it has come back again you know it's a very leading and it has uh, got a very huge power it's very economically now strong Similarly, India, because of the population and the uh, soft skills, you know, the IT, it became one of the major IT providers, service providers to the world. And similarly, China became one of the manufacturing hubs. So these are the trends. So in unemployment, you know, in the developing countries, one of the problems where old people need pension, young people need, like, you know, the people like us, you know, you, you will graduate. So what will you do after graduation? The first task is to get a work, isn't it? To get a job. So get a job. Now, where will the job come from? The jobs are limited. Find a job. Now, the job is a challenge for all developing countries. So that's a trend, you know, that's a trend. So many industries are geared toward uh, helping this unemployment or finding the job for the fresh graduates and this is a policy so the demography I mean we don't want to go into much details today we'll take it up in the next chapter in the first chapter after this so that is the first the professor identifies so you are clear you understand the trend how will it affect the industry the products and services will be different uh, the financial needs will be different in both the parts in developing countries, uh, we need more recreation, football, music, uh, cinema. Whereas in the developed countries, those old people, they are now going to die. So they don't want to go to cinema halls. They are used to be time in 1960s. Even read the history of America. In 1964-60, you know, in 1960s, it was called baby boom time in USA. Baby boom. These people who have become 60 today, they were young that time. And you know, they were the, after the World War II, the uh, 
population, you know, the uh, U.S. became the power, you know, superpower. Although Russia was also there, USSR, but USA was growing, and it became a very big power in the world. So, and how do people become big? On the basis of economy. So, the economic growth, people were working, they were getting richer, investments, etc. So, that time people used to, you know, they had so much money and along with money, they had age with them. So, people in 20s, 30s, you people, you know, you cannot sit idle. You cannot sit idle. In lockdown, I mean, you must have faced people who are young, 20s, 19, 20, 25, they want to, you know, be active. They want to roam around, they want to go, they want to see new places, which is not possible for people age 60 plus. Okay? So, the, in 1960s, USA used to be the hub of activities. I mean, rock dancers and uh, different types of music, different types of albums, which is not coming out so much now, isn't it? All the uh, music albums, which were very hit, you know, there were so many people like Beatles, Beatles, some one of the biggest bands of the world, Michael Jackson and people like them, they are not so much there. They are now coming to the, you know, developing countries to show their talents. Be why? Because the youth is here. So, demography affects the entire business we do, the new, mar new types of products, services are dependent upon demography and what is demography demography means population next is the social uh, the social is what social you know i deliberately kept it social he was talking about law and order who uh, the the student who saw the video which country was he referring to he gave an example of a country which country do you remember the country which he was referring to in the example of law and order that this country is lawless there is lot of problem and not just there even in the ed somalia very good somalia somalia is uh, always in trouble you know first of all most of the african countries are in trouble latin america also is was not in a good shape argentina cuba mexico in Mexico is uh, always dependent upon USA for employment, etc. So the uh, he said, you know, because of this uh, tension in certain parts of the world, what will happen? People will move from that place to the other. So many Somalians are there who have got citizenship in Western countries. Now that trend is increasing. People from uh, Syria, people from the Middle East, because of the problems. They had to leave and find a new place. So, this is also a trend to watch. I mean, Sudan, Ethiopia, many African countries where, you know, there are problems going on. Uh, there, you know, there will be, uh, this will affect business also. So, we have to keep reading and having a watch on what is going on around the world. So, look at the trend of socio-political, social, economic and political trend what is going on across, how many people are migrating, what was the migration. I mean, Joe Biden, when he has jo uh, come again, Trump had completely stopped the uh, migration. He was he stopped giving. It's like the problems between USA and China. Yeah, this is trade problem, mainly trade problem, because China is coming up trying to beat USA in its own game, because the uh, free movement of products was actually started by USA, you know, globalization. They wanted to sell their products everywhere. When it came back on them, then, you know, they, that was the reason why Donald Trump won in the last election, because he said, I, <laughs> when you read about the world, you get a headache. No, no, no need to get headache. We are business, uh, business analysts. We are going to be business managers. So, we will face it and we will sell our products. We will do good in our market, whatever field we choose. So, that is uh, one area which is going to affect our business and industries, that is the law and order, socio-political. And last trend that he told is about the rise of China. 
I mean, this has become a phenomenon in itself, China. Why? Because any product that we see across the world, even you know, the musalla, the sajada, <laughs> and today we need it more because we have to take it with uh, us to the masjid to pray. Even iPhones, yes, Apple used to, Apple, Dell, all of them buy their parts from China. They get their parts assembled in China. So China, you know, it's a very good story. Yeah, that very nice. Yes, that headache is what makes great managers. Okay, good. So China is a story to read. I know I uh, was reading a book named Undercover Economist. And there, you know, one of the chapters is dedicated to China, how China became, China was a very, in a very bad state in 1960s, you know, very bad state in 19, till 1970s, China was having a very bad time. But then after, you know, there was a change in the policy of the government, the government also, you know, they changed the policy. And then, you know, they started capitalizing on their uh, strengths. Their strength is population. So they made it uh, a strength and they became bigger and bigger. They started uh, manufacturing in mass. They started exploiting the trend. That's what we have to understand. They ex started exploiting the trend. Like for example, today, what has become the trend online, remote. So those people who want to, you know, make the best of this, some people will just sit and curse. They will just keep on saying, you know, I am fed up of this online and how will I earn? What will I do if the things don't, don't open? But many people will make this as an opportunity. This is what China did in 1970s. So that's a history, you know, we don't want to. So this is the starting discussion on the trends. We, what we need to learn from this video is how to catch about what is a trend okay and the three major trends were told by the professor but we are not much bothered about that now we will take it up in chapter wise one by one but our idea was to see what is <laughs> okay now why should we learn this first of all we should learn trends not to be left behind so that you know Nokia you know Nokia used to be one of the biggest brands in mobile phones not many years ago Nokia was a big brand when Apple was not there you know when Apple was not such a big player Nokia used to be the leader which country does it belong to Nokia you know where where is it from Nokia No, not Japan. That's the thing, you know, it is from a very small country. You can search and tell. It became such a huge brand that it used to, uh, it, Finland, very good, Firas is right, Finland. It is a Finnish country, uh, company. Finland is a small country, but Finland is a small country, but Finland is known for many features. Finland is known for a lot of features. Finland has the highest number of literacy. Mo many people are educated. Many companies, it's hub for manufacturing also. Then the online penetration in internet, you know, it's the maximum in Finland. So this is a small country, universities, you have a lot of uh, very uh, good universities in Finland. So you can read more on Finland. So what happened with Nokia? Nokia used to be the leader. Now, I, we just want to discuss in few words, not go into the detail that we can do later. The case of Nokia is there everywhere. It used to be the leader. It was beating everyone. They were the players. Yes, Feras is right. They did not watch for the trend. You know, they, fall, they didn't follow the trend. What is going on? What is happening in the market? Who is Steve Jobs? They didn't care about that. That you know, that's the headache they didn't take. As a result, what happened? They were left behind, and that is why we are learning this course because and this course 
we have to continue studying uh, Nokia and Blackberry, you are right. And there are examples across. Nokia is one example in mobile phones. The uh, other example in the automobile is about General Motors and Ford and uh, uh, and what? Who, were, who was the, there were three major companies? General Motors, Ford and the third one, Chevrolet. Who built, who beat them? Who gave them a very tough fight? Toyota. Toyota simply, you know, uh, went and tried to make bankrupt these companies, which were one of the biggest companies of the world, car manufacturers. So, and there is a case study, you know, on these companies, GM, Ford and the third one I forgot. What happened? Toyota was gradually picking up. Which country does it belong to? Japan. And what does Japan, Japanese company do? You know, they, first of all, you know, they work on cost. Yeah, General Motors have very big history, but at a point of time, when Toyota entered the market, Toyota started giving fight. Japanese and automobile manufacturers, they started giving fight to all the big players. As a result, you know, they started putting tax, extra, extra tax, USA, they started putting extra tax on Toyota uh, cars, so that, you know, they, these companies can be saved. But uh, still, you know, they made a mistake. They didn't follow the trend. They didn't know that the customers, is, customers are the king. Yeah, Toyota is better in small cars and they didn't know that Toyota is uh, making a dent through new types of cars, designs, new designs, new technology and new features and pricing. So as a result, what happened, you know, people didn't, all people don't want to go into the big cars, etc. So Toyota has started like Chinese cars now, you're right. So what we need to say today in the first lecture is we must learn about trends, what is going to happen, what is going on, so that we don't get left behind, not just in business, but as in personal career also, in profession. You have to choose your profession. So you, unless you follow the trends, how will you become better? You know, today it's the time of e-commerce. In the next uh, 10 years, maybe uh, there will be some new form of technology, 5G based technology. So you have to read what is going on, what should I specialize in data analyst or big data or whatever, you know. So this is why we should learn trends not to be left behind. Second, uh, you can make the right decision when you are aware about what is going on. So right decision as a manager, as uh, move with the development, yes, move with the development. Like for example, you will see very soon, you know, the most of the foreign universities are going to run online. You know, most of the universities in UK, in USA, in major parts of the world, in France, etc., they have already declared that for at least for 2021, it's all going to be online. Then there is a trend, you know, that these com these universities are opening branches in Asian countries like Malaysia. You know, Malaysia has a hub of foreign uh, universities, Monash, Nottingham, all these uh, universities have their branches, have their campuses in this, this country. The same will in UAE, in Emirates, so many uh, foreign universities have opened their branches. So, you know, unless we are aware what is going on, what will we do? You know, we simply know that USA, all the universities are there. And maybe after 10 years, you don't know. All the universities will shift here in the Middle East. Maybe in Saudi, you know, you will have uh, all the big, I mean, Harvard, Oxford, all are here. So, what is the need to go there? Why not, you know, we prepare for the trend that is taking up? Okay, so we need to learn the trends to make the right decision. Then, you know, if you want to become an entrepreneur, if you want to start a new business, 
follow the trends maybe someday you will make them yeah of course mashallah you are giving quotations on the first day yes you follow the trends and maybe you will make them one day so you become the trend so in order to start a business there also you know where are we going to get the idea from which business we should start are we going to start uh, a food or uh, education so many options are there so for selecting the you have to keep your company updated to or you will be left behind yes keep your company updated keep yourself updated for not just for as a employee of a company but also as at personal level in order to succeed in order to make your cv better and better you have to be updated so the last point is uh, to lead successful businesses that can adapt Salman is right. Tesla is a very good example. You can read the case study of Tesla, how they have, you know, made, made a uh, dent for themselves. They knew that this is going to happen. Like Google, you know, Google is for how long have they been experimenting with electric cars? And and in 15, 20 years ago, it used to be dream, you know, electric car. But today, electric car is a reality. They are going to be there in the market, electric cars because of so many reasons, uh, pollution, etc. So we are all agreed. Now let's stop at this slide and ask, do we understand? If somebody asks you, <laughs> what is the need to learn the trends? Huh? Okay, so I mean, you should not tell me, ask me again, but rather you will remember these three points. You can have many points like they are saying, make the trend yourself, but at least for common purpose we have three points one not to be left behind two make the right decision and three to start a new business get new idea and to lead a successful business so all of you all the students are i mean uh, happy about this okay you are satisfied with these three uh, reasons for learning the course okay let's move forward then uh, the question is you know why should we uh, how will it help us personally as a manager? Uh, one is a manager is supposed to be more knowledgeable. I mean, you look at uh, any of the successful managers, they have so many idea, all leaders, you know, you look at the successful leaders, they will have knowledge of many areas, you know, they will have a, an opinion. So you are required to have an opinion, so you are required to have, for example, you know, you are expected to know something about the line, which is going to be a project, Neom, the uh, sale of Aramco. So as a manager, you know, we have to be knowledgeable. We have to not be expert in everything. We will be expert in our own area, like finance or HR or marketing. But as a manager, you know, we have to be aware about what is going on. Like, means it's very uh, happy to see that you are so much aware about so many things like Tesla and Chinese cars. So it's good to see that you are updated and we will keep updating ourselves. The second reason why you know we have to be more trendy, more updated is because the future is going to be tougher, more and more competition. The, uh, especially you know because of the introduction of uh, the artificial intelligence and automation the uh, the uh, machines are becoming more intelligent isn't it so we are not required for example you know i am speaking blah 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 and uh, there is a you know in after 10 years in order to teach uh, emerging trends in business uh, only one robot is enough huh? so what will happen it's an online class going on there is a robot sitting here and he is well informed eh? he has got artificial intelligence he can uh, yeah so there is no need for the teacher for the doctor to perform uh, general surgery the these routine works which used to be a specialist work earlier will become routine they will be performed by machines so what will happen you know it will become more struggling for us but is it impossible to survive no we will survive you know we will find our place people like 
uh, Elon Musk, Alibaba, uh, the Jack Ma, people like, uh, so there are so many local entrepreneurs, local Saudi entrepreneurs who have become hugely successful. No, uh, Sook.com, it's a Middle Eastern uh, giant who then was taken by Amazon. So there are always a room for us and that is competition. How you make room for yourself is competition. It, you don't want to take it easy, you know, we have to fight it out and become the best. And can all of you become the best 50? Yes, of course. I mean, each one of us can become the best. We can, we can become the most successful uh, manager or businessman in our fields. So it's very much possible. So there are two reasons that we get personal benefit from is because one is it is required to be knowledgeable, more and more knowledgeable because you know it's the age of knowledge economy. Anywhere you go, you have to be knowledgeable. It's knowledge economy, knowledge sells today. They are not hiring you for even your, you know, if, if, you, if you hear about Apple, Steve Jobs interview, some past interview, he says, I don't bother about degrees. From where have you graduated? Is it Harvard or MIT or any other? He is looking for skills. So if you don't have the skill, don't have the knowledge, then it's a waste. I mean, A plus in the uh, certificate in your Shahada is waste unless you go and prove that your A plus is worth it. Because on day one of your work, it will be found by, by the, because in practical world, you know, it doesn't matter whether you are working in a university or you are working in a retail store or you are working in a government office. On the day one, when you enter, even if he is, uh, you are hired because you were, you graduated from Ummul Khura University, and it's a very prestigious university. The day one you go there, the your boss, he wants work. And he wants to see that you are able to do that work, learn that work and perform it on the day one, from the day one. It's not about soft skill, no. Soft skill doesn't, is mean, that, that means you know you, can, you are able to speak well. But a skill means the knowledgeable application of what you have learned and what is required that is a skill and that is why you know the universities are different some universities are very high graded some are less why because those universities are working towards uh, finding the need from the market whereas other universities they are just offering courses if you ask the uh, course manager or the program manager of uh, any any university why have you offered this course emerging trends what is the reason? How will the students benefit in the market? So if he is not able to answer that, then that means that a skill is wasted. So we have to, uh, first of all, become knowledgeable. That's why we are learning to the trends. And second, we want to be competitive. We want to beat others. We, our immediate challenges, then in the international area, you know, there will be, you will be fighting with First of all, your you know Gulf students or Gulf managers, then in the global area, so that's a fight, that's a competition. It's always there, and you have to face it. So these are you know two slides you know that helps us know and be happy and satisfied that what we are learning is not a waste. Okay, uh, last point to discuss for today is uh, a very uh, good example uh, i mean i don't know if you got a chance to uh, uh, to see this uh, video i will discuss this in the next class also but i just want to give you a brief idea you know i uh, cannot show this video on my screen because you will see the video but i think the voice will not come that's the problem you know you will not be able to hear the voice from my system uh, if that was possible, then I could have shared. So, and in any case, you know, you sit back and relax. It's a two and a half minutes video on why share trends help a company. So, you know, this example is about REI. It's a retail giant, retail company. 
and they came up with a, a scheme called opt outside you will watch the video at, at your own pace and uh, we will discuss this in the next class also maybe in the question and answer form uh, when we start the chapter next week any one of you have already seen this video can you just like to summarize what uh, this video was all about in one one line do you want to summarize anyone okay tell me what did you read mohammed what is your full name mohammed are you mohammed binjabi yes doctor ah okay very good so just can, yeah it's a case study about black friday very good and what did yeah. they do what did they do mohammed sidi okay he is mohammed sidi not so what did they do on that black friday first of all uh, black friday is very important and one version of black friday we see in the uh, middle east they call it here here they don't call it black friday you know because it's not a good word so we have a new version of friday here oh, i mean we just white friday yes so it was white friday here and then they came up with other fridays like noon came up with yellow friday and uh, but in the western countries it is a very old tradition to have a uh, black friday now this black friday is just after the thanksgiving there is a they have a the christians festival um, that is thanksgiving and after that you know they celebrate in the form of buying purchases yes mohammed is right so on in 2016 that means 5 years ago rei a retail giant who, who is a very big store and uh, you know it's up to you to uh, read as much as possible because uh, in such courses you know as we are taking up in emerging trends the more we read uh, it's better you know it makes it more enjoying so for example rei rei try to read more on it what it is when was it established what is the size where does it operate so this will give, give you a more uh, understanding and it will help you remember also for future so rei as mohammed rightly said they opted not to uh, open the stores on the very black friday which is the busiest day of the year i mean uh, yes very nice i mean this three words three sentences that mohammed sidi has written just read it i mean i am happy to see that he understood and he has just summarized they skipped the black friday in 2016 they closed all their stores even the online booking they stored uh, they stopped on the black friday and why did they do i mean i will just differ here uh, they were not trying to make a trend can you just uh, correct it you want to replace it with something any other student do you agree that they were making a trend or they were doing something else with the trend trend is right trend is right trend is the right word but who will tell go outside yeah no let's summarize it what did they do with the trend did they make the trend or follow the trend and that's what you know i want to know if you saw the they they make the trend then other companies follow them okay okay fine so we, uh, he said they made the trend then many other companies followed the trend okay but how did they make the trend how did they decide that uh, we are going to not sell on black friday because uh, do you have do you want to answer this or i continue so what you will do you will listen to the video again look at the video again two ti two times three times and then summarize i have summarized here from the video and on the discussion item also it's summarized but look at the video it's good uh it is right you know mohammed siri and awais both are right that they created a trend 
but the question is how did they create this trend what was the reason the reason was that they followed the trend also you know they were watching closely what is going on around and uh, that's the thing we have to watch for you know what did they do you know they uh, they uh, you if you read the discussion item that i have given to you uh, we'll discuss again in the next week it's mentioned that uh, not just rei but there was another company huh? uh, there was called patagonia they also did something uh, different they declared that whatever we earn on a black friday we will donate everything all 100% we will give to in charity and as a result they also you know their sale increased and it will help them in lot of ways so you know what we are seeing is that these companies the managers obviously people like you were uh, always updating themselves they are they were uh, looking around and seeing what is going on what is the trend the trend was the need for the people for the employees to you know do something new do something new you know to enjoy you know every black friday for so many years 1950s 1960s i mean 50 60 years every black friday people are just going to buy you know to buy maximum very good yes ois is right you know they changed people mind for only staying home and buying products and tell them to go outside go outside for 2 hours so this you know became uh, a trend but before that uh, rei followed a trend they knew that something was going on around people had some wish which you know is not being fulfilled and this is only possible when we are reading we are reading surveys we are reading journal articles you know it's a very interesting uh, job of a manager any job any uh, manager it is marketing or hr or finance like hr uh, you know in hr manager it was very long ago in usa in it companies they started the thing uh, called work from home isn't it you you know this this is not new in the time of corona in uh, it companies and many other you know such companies the work from home or something called flexi working uh, flexi hours flexi working was it there already there were many companies following this principle of flexi working work from home why were they doing it because they knew that in hr there is a trend you know people are sick of coming to 9 and 5 especially where you know creativity is required where you know people uh, are to be creative you have to do some coding you have to develop some new research so for that you know if you just keep on asking me to come at 9 and go and 5 go at 5 then you know i am not going to deliver so they found a trend in people that you know i have to do something i have to uh, that hr manager you know he understood the trend and came up with a new policy of flexi working or work from home and that delivered that became a trend and that was followed by other companies but the starting was the update on the trend by the people by you know by this first hr manager so rei decided to shut their business on the busiest day paid their employees to take the day off and spend it outside and called this campaign opt outside the result was not a failure but a huge success and the success is here at 2.7 billion so what do we understand from this case that following the trend is beneficial for business that's a lesson we learned huh so this is the practical application of why we should follow the trend every day we should read and see around what is going on so that we are successful uh and so this was the disruption you know more than 150 businesses they followed the same hundreds of state parks uh okay so 
I'll stop there, not go further. Just look at these uh, topics we are going to cover. Uh, go through it. I mean, this week we will finalize what topics. In case you have any suggestion that, uh, see, these are many, just remove some of them. I am I am ready, okay, because I don't want to uh, bore you too much. We want to do something tangible and interesting in quantity that is sufficient for you. But if you feel, you know, some of the items are mm, not interesting, I will remove them or you want something new. So this week, take two to three days, have a look at all the topics that we are going to cover in the next 10 weeks. If you want any change, I am ready. But once we decide, then one by one, you know, we will be taking up the chapters. And the course outline is already there in the on the blackboard, but I can change the topics, no problem. So I'll stop here, okay? I'll stop the recording now and I'll